Hello everybody out there, Chris here and welcome back to another comic book review. In this review I'll be talking about Justice League number 38. So, Batman in the last issue was exposed to, his mask was destroyed and he became exposed to the Amazo virus. And now Batman has superpowers apparently because halfway through the fight with uh, Patient Zero, Batman using his power. I love the artwork in this book. I must say I love the artwork. Uh, he uses his powers to um, render Patient Zero unconscious. So now all that's left is Batman and Wonder Woman, along with, of course, Lex Luthor and Mr. Uh, not Mr. Freeze, uh, Captain Cold. Um, we find out what happens to Lex Luthor. Again, read the issue to find out. Lex is going crazy trying to figure out who put the hit out on him. And long story short, we find out that Patient Zero isn't... Um, they're not able to create a cure through Patient Zero. They need Superman's blood. Why? You have to read the book to find out. But Lex Luthor basically reveals why he needs Superman's blood. And um, also, at the end of this, he says, For my continued help and support, I want complete immunity after explaining why. And then the ending, oh boy. Turns out Lex was hoping this wasn't going to happen. But let's just say... Uh, there's a little bit more to the Amazo virus, and at least the superheroes that were infected by the Amazo virus, uh, that definitely is going to play into a huge um, part of the next issue. Uh, I liked it. I like the artwork. I think the story is strong. Uh, Jeff Johns is doing a really great job with Justice League. I would give this issue a 4 out of 5 stars. An enjoyable issue, but really, um, I felt like I got through the book pretty fast. I like the reveal, and I like that kind of Lex Luthor gave himself... Uh, he admitted to something, but now in order for him to continue helping the Justice League and the world, he wants to be immune from it, so this way he doesn't get arrested for it. And it's kind of wow. And uh, the ending, of course, was really good also. So with that, that's it for my review for Justice League 38, guys. As always, don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline Zone 4 Podcast, and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. As always, feel free to leave comments below what you thought about the book. Uh, if you agree or disagree with what I have to say. And until next time, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next review.